Welcome to WMI TV News. I'm Laura Singleton. Coming to you from inside Sholo TV studio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This news is being driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Today's top story comes from Snowflake. A little over two years ago, a civil lawsuit was filed against Harvey Leon Palmer and his wife, Gloria Ann Palmer, by the Navajo County Attorney's Office for the embezzlement of over $800,000 from the Silver Creek Irrigation District. As of April 9th, the matter has come to a close with a stipulated judgment and order for forfeiture issued by Navajo County Superior Court. The judgment and order resolves all issues in the civil suit without the need for a trial. They acknowledge Leon Palmer's misappropriation of funds from Silver Creek Irrigation District as well as his engagement in certain racketeering offenses. When asked about the settlement, County Attorney Brad Carline stated, When the terms of settlement agreement have been fulfilled, the monies received by my office will be utilized to repay the Silver Creek Irrigation District for its loss. While sufficient assets were not available to make the district whole, I believe the resolution that we have reached with the Palmers is a positive one for the Silver Creek Irrigation District and its taxpayers and property owners. For more details about the settlement and the pending cases, see reporter Barbara Bruce's story in your Tuesday edition of The Independent. Now to Apache County. On April 16th, an Apache County Special Crimes Enforcement Team detective conducted a traffic stop near mile marker 325 on Interstate 40 near Chambers, Arizona. During the stop, it was discovered that the 2014 Ford Focus sedan was reported stolen the day before out of Henderson, Nevada. The driver of the vehicle, Jeremiah Tartan, 19, of Las Vegas, was subsequently arrested for theft of means of transportation. Tartan was transported and booked into the Apache County Jail in St. John's. Now to Lakeside. Last Thursday, three special guests traveled over 2,000 miles one way from Minnesota to speak to teachers, parents, students, and the community about the growing epidemic of suicide in Navajo County. Minnesota Viking defensive end Stephen Weatherly, Vikings Executive Director of Player Development, Les Pico, and Dr. Nyanka Nilamti, Vice President of Wellness and Clinical Services for the National Football League presented NFL Suicide Prevention Night. Several local businesses in the Blue Ridge Administration hosted the event. For more details about topics discussed, see your Tuesday edition of The Independent. Now to your weather forecast, brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Today should continue with the 20% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Highs may reach the upper 60s. The overnight low is expected to be in the low 40s with a continued 20% chance of rain. Tuesday's forecast calls for a high in the low 60s with slight chance of rain in the morning. The chance of precipitation should increase to 60% in the afternoon. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. Also, don't forget to like and share the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. And remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.